Utah native Emily Pageant, but she goes by Pageant, is a free diver based out of the Caribbean island Dominica, where she set a sea mass USA record in free immersion at 85 meters, which is 279 feet. Wow. The dive took her about three minutes and 30 seconds of holding her breath and diving toward the ocean floor. And she also opened a training center in 2022, but I'll let her tell you about that. But free diving is taking one breath of air, so the biggest breath of air that you can, and then diving as deep as you can in the ocean. She began training in 2019 and quickly realized that free diving is much more difficult than she thought. People think it's the breath hold that's the hardest part of free diving, but when you first start, it's actually equalizing your ears. And I just struggled really hard with it. I kind of just became competitive with myself. That looks like Pageant getting ready for her dive. For Pageant, it's the meditative state that she enjoys most. I think for me personally, because I'm such a type A personality, it slows me down. Every time I dive, I go into that meditative state. As I'm diving, I just, I become slower. My mind goes slower. I have more patience. I have more empathy. I just, I always say it makes me a better person. And that sounds so cheesy, but it's true. It's, you know, that's how I feel and I, I love doing it. She says it's 95% mental and just 5% physical. If you're not mentally in it, it's, it's really difficult to do because you're doing something that's very unnatural. You're little, literally just sinking into, into water. You have to be really relaxed and you have to be mentally strong to, to get through it. You can't want the depth. If you, as soon as you want the depth, it's over. In addition to competing, Pageant opened a women-owned free diving center on the island in 2022. And it's something she truly believes in. So Dominica is almost as east as you can get in the Caribbean. It's near Barbados and St. Lucia. So we just started the free diving center in October of 2022. I think it's really awesome that it's women owned. So it's me and my partner, Sophie Gomez. It's grown into something that's so beautiful. And now we're doing two competitions a year and we have people from all over the world coming to train with us. And it also opens the door and gives me a platform to do a lot of volunteer work. Like I, we, we teach kids how to swim every Sunday in our village that we live in, in Dominica. We have other neighboring um, islands asking us to participate in more um, volunteer work with the kids. And it's just turned into something that I just, I feel so passionately about. She proudly calls both Utah and Dominica her home. I feel incredibly fortunate. Like I get two of the best worlds and two of the most beautiful worlds that exist on this planet. Like I've been all over the world and I still, Utah takes my breath away and Dominica still takes my breath away. I feel very, very fortunate that I get to, get to be in both worlds. Wow, so cool. That's crazy. The craziest, wow. coolest story ever. Oh, really neat. Thanks, Andrea.